Looking to drive a motorcycle without ever having to stop for a fill-up, change the oil, top up the fluids, or repair a transmission, clutch, and cooling system? And do you want a quiet motor that doesn't contribute to air pollution? Then an electric motorcycle may be just the set of wheels you're looking for. An electric motorcycle lends a whole new meaning to the term plug and play. You charge the bike's battery by plugging into a standard 120 volt household electrical outlet. A full charge takes eight hours, but you can buy an add-on device to cut that charging time in half. The bike's journey begins on a sketch pad. An industrial designer draws an artistic conception, creating the aesthetics such as lines and colors, as well as the ergonomics, such as seat and mirror positioning. The designer transforms the sketches into a computer model, to which engineers then add the mechanics. The motorcycle's battery contains four cell boxes. To link all the cell boxes, they install two interconnect boards. Then, into each board, they plug the connectors from two cell boxes. They use lots of grease to waterproof the battery and protect it against corrosion caused by road salt or sea air. Next, they plug wires coming from the two interconnect boards into a circuit board. This circuit board is the battery's brain. It regulates the voltages of the individual cells to prevent overheating. Then, the charging components. Technicians now close up the fully assembled battery with protective covers and run it through a function test. The test simulates the discharge of the battery that happens when you ride the bike, then the recharge that occurs when you plug in. All the cell voltages must balance in the process. The motorcycle frame is made of high-strength, lightweight, aircraft-grade aluminum. At the tail end, they install the controller the link between the battery and the throttle, which controls the electricity flow to the motor. They mount the suspension system, an aluminum swing arm that attaches to the rear wheel on one end and to the frame on the other via a spring-shaped shock absorber, which expands and contracts to damp and bounce as the wheel moves up and down over bumps in the road. They mount the motor. The battery's electrical current rotates the motor via the controller, which turns the drive belt, spinning the bike's rear wheel. This belt's maintenance-free because it's made of high-strength rubber, further reinforced with the material used to make bulletproof vests. They install the upper triple clamp, which carries the dash, horn, turn signals, and ignition switch. Then the handlebars. There are several components already mounted to them, including the front brake lever, the throttle, and control switches. Then, technicians slide the battery into the frame and connect it to the motor and controller. This motorcycle has no transmission, no gears, no clutch, no cooling system to maintain or repair. The motor's fins adequately dissipate heat buildup. Next, two aluminum forks to hold the front wheel axle. Workers position them inside the upper triple clamp and a second triple clamp lower down. But they don't install the front wheel just yet. They first mount the rear wheel. It has a rubber tire, hydraulic brakes activated by a foot lever, and the sprocket for the drive belt. They place the drive belt around the sprocket. Now, when the motor runs, the rear wheel turns. After mounting the front wheel, they install the bike's plastic body parts. There's a storage area where gas motorcycles would have their fuel tank. There are four chargers located underneath the battery. Their wiring culminates in a single port in which you plug a cable to recharge. Every motorcycle this factory produces undergoes an extensive indoor road test on a dynamometer, a driving simulator that assesses the performance of every component. Although very quiet, the bike's as powerful as a mid-sized gasoline-run motorcycle and can reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. When the battery needs a quick recharge, you can pull over at a roadside electric vehicle charging station and fill her up in less than an hour.